Hi, this is Dr. Arvind Bhateja from Sparsh Institute of Neurosciences at Infantry Road. I just wanted to talk today about uh, the importance of visualization in neurosurgery and spine surgery. When we began uh, neurosurgery as a specialty several hundred years ago, there was no way to be able to look at finer structures and to preserve delicate nerves and blood vessels near and around the brain and the spinal cord. All that changed with the advent of the operating microscope and magnification. Not only did it give us superior magnification up to 15x the actual size of the structures that we were looking at, it also gave us superior illumination into the depth. Now, as technology has progressed, things have only become better. So our ability to visualize structures, visualize anatomy and visualize important nerves, blood vessels and other important structures during surgery has become a very key component of ensuring high quality outcomes in neurosurgery and spine surgery. And therefore, being able to harness and utilize the best technology available in the world is what we believe in at Sparsh. So using the OARM, we can perform a CT scan of the spine while the patient is in the operation theater. This gives us high resolution, three dimensional images of the bony anatomy of the spine, even in a spine which is badly deformed. This enables us to operate with great confidence and great accuracy, even on very difficult cases, making outcomes and hospital stay and analgesic requirements very uh, easy to manage. The other thing that we believe in using is advanced imaging during brain surgery. So what do I mean by advanced imaging? So very often when we operate on brain tumors, especially intrinsic brain tumors like gliomas, we sometimes cannot tell the difference between the interface, between where the tumor ends and the brain starts. So using the Zeiss Kinevo 900 microscope, we can use something called tumor fluorescence. So this enables us to see the tumor under a wavelength, a light of a special wavelength. And therefore only the tumor fluoresces, but the normal brain does not fluoresce. So this gives us a very good idea of the boundaries of the tumor and enables us to achieve a maximal resection as safely as possible without invading into surrounding normal brain tissue. The other thing that this microscope enables us to do is to do intraop angiogram, to see blood vessels, to see branches which sometimes can be hidden, to make sure that whatever vascular pathology we're trying to deal with has been dealt with in the appropriate manner. So all this greatly adds to our armamentarium as neurosurgeons, enables us to deal with complex problems, complex diseases, complex tumors, and still ensure very good and satisfactory outcomes for our patients. Thank you.